Here we are for week three of CISN 302. Let's take a look at what we've got to do this week. I went into Canvas, now I'm going into our class 302. Go into Modules, and I'm going to Week 3. And it's C here. We have a bunch of stuff. We have this thing that says Lab 3. Let's see what it says. Set up a certificate of authority and a certificate request on your PC domain controller. You must be a domain controller and have IIS installed. Create PowerPoint with screenshots explaining what a certificate of authority is. Send screenshots to me. Or on week three campus assignments, you can send the screenshots. Okay, so that's all you got to do for this week. Let's see what else there is. This week three, we have a quiz, quiz number three in week three. And this, let's take a look at what that has in it. It has some multiple choice questions. All multiple choice, all right. That's a good one. Okay, let's go back and see if there's anything else. This is a little movie here that's just for fun. There's some free software you can download and that's also not required, it's optional. There is a <clears throat> PDF document on promoting to domain controller in case you haven't done it recently. This goes over some step-by-step -step stuff that you can do when promoting a domain to a domain controller. And you want to also add IIS, which stands for Internet Information Server. Basically, it's the same thing as Apache Web Server that you can use from Linux or for free in Windows. Uh, let's see what else. You have to have that in there and in place in order to become a certificate authority as a uh, server. So. There are also some helpful movies that I have for week three. Here's an example. This tells you what a certificate authority is, this movie. This movie talks about what a digital certificate is and how to request one. As part of your lab, you're supposed to try to do that. Put it on your desktop and then take a picture of it and send it to me. How to create your certificate request right there. And then the last one on here is installing certificate services on Windows Server 2012. It's very similar to what you do in Server 2019. So I'm going to go on Server 2019 and show you how to do it in uh, your own virtual machine somewhat. Is there any kind of, uh, oh no, you don't have any kind of NetLab for this week. You just have to make a uh, PowerPoint describing what a certificate of authority is. Very good. Okay, and there's a movie here that should, tells you all about it. You also have the internet available and you should have no trouble with that. So let's take a look at creating or promoting to domain controller. No, not promoting. Let's just take a look at creating a certificate of authority in a domain controller. Okay, so I am going to go to VMware and I already have a domain controller that I have set up previously and what can I do with that? As soon as this guy boots up We'll take a look at where IIS is and where the uh, <coughs> certificate of authority stuff is. And then you can follow the movie and, or follow the PDF and do it for yourself. Notice I am waiting a long time because it takes longer for the domain controller to boot up than it does for a standalone server, which is what we normally have here. But that's okay. 
going to be a winner. It's going to be a wonderful day. Halloween is over and Thanksgiving is coming. And we have lots of nice little rules that the governor has told us <laughs> how we can celebrate Thanksgiving here in California. Okay, so hope everybody's safe and everything is going well for you. Let's take a look here. Okie dokie. No, I don't want to say okay there. I want to send my control alt delete. Okay, will you do it for me or are you going to fight with me? Cancel. There we go. And I put my password in here. Got it. There I am. Okay. And now what I need to do is open up a uh, server manager. Where is that guy at? Uh, there you are. Server manager. And first thing you want to do in server manager is add roles and features. No, this, this is from a different uh, lab that I did. I had uh, Active Directory, and I added uh, DNS. There you go. Add roles and features. Next. Next, role-based. And next, just picking that one. Okay, so what I want to add this time is I want to add IIS. It says web server right down here. So we want to click on that one and say add features and hit next and we don't have to add any other feature oh wait IIS hostable web core hmm I don't think I need that so I'm gonna leave it out we'll try it and just take all the defaults here and hit install and wait for the uh, blue line to go across the uh, bar up there and then we can reboot, I hope, and then we'll be able to add the certificate of authority. Actually, you have to have this IIS added before you can request a certificate of authority too, I believe. Yes, so there we have that. That's done. Okay, so I'm going to hit close here. And it says IIS over here. We don't have to reboot, apparently. Add roles and features succeeded. Installation succeeded. The little message. Isn't that exciting? So now we want to add some more roles. We want to add a role as the Certificate of Authority. Active Directory Certificate Services at the very top of the list. There we go. Add features. Next. And I believe that's all we need to do. It'll do everything else automatically. Okay, Certificate of Authority is the very top one again. Next. And hit install. And I believe we're going to have to configure this after you install it. Yeah. CA stands for Certificate of Authority, not California. <laughs> Sometimes confusing here. There you go. And now we can hit close. And you'll notice a little yellow information notification thing we can hit that configure active directory services a little blue text down here okay specify credentials to configure this and this is me I'm the administrator uh, administrator easy for me to say let's see I'm going to hit next here make a certificate of authority Next, Enterprise, of course. 
root ca instead of subordinate. I want to be the last word in certificate of authorities. Create a new private key. Why not? Aha! This gives us choices on what we can do with our private key. This tells you the length and this tells you how many bits are used in the hash algorithm. And you might want to pick uh, SHA-512 to be more secure. You could have MD5 also. Either one of those would be okay. And then we'll hit next and it tells you the distinguished name that we have and we'll hit next. It's good for five years. Certificate database location, just take the default, hit next, active. And there it is, tells you all the cool stuff. You hit configure and it says succeeded. If you take a picture of this, then that will tell me that you have done it. All you got to do then is hit your snipping tool, say new, and take a picture of this guy with the configuration succeeded. And I will know you have done it. And this is for lab three. I'm going to save that guy. And the other part of this lab that you do is you're needing to do a request for certificate service. Let me take a look at that real quick. Make sure I give you that information possibly. Properly, I mean. Let's see. Helpful movies. Let's look at that one. How to create a certificate request. Yeah, this is a pretty straightforward movie. Tells you how to do it. You have to have IIS. Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BJ yeah, Tech News and video. Uh, another video. Show you exactly what to <laughs> and do. Uh, today's video is about Windows Server 2012. And it's exactly the same in Server 2012 as it is in Server 2019. So what you would do on that one is at the end you'll see a place where you can save the text and on your desktop. Open it up on your desktop and it has all of this... Uh, number gibberish which is actually a request that you send to a certificate of authority take a picture of that snapshot picture of that and send that to me also so that's all you gotta do this week pretty cool and if you have any questions or need some help send me an email and hopefully we'll be able to take care of it hope you have a nice week and we'll talk to you again next time